Hey, what's up? It's Rich with the ESP8266 and Arduino-based smart lock. So you can see it's looking a lot better than before. We've got the circuit board built and populated. And on the mechanical side, we've moved the, um, well, removed the potentiometer and replaced that with a simple encoder. So on the back side of this board here, we have an IR sensor um, just detecting how much light is reflected back from the disc here, which is half black and half uh, lighter. So I'll do a quick tour of the circuit board and a bit of an explanation of how it works, and then we'll get into a demo. So we've got nine volts coming in here, five volt regulator here for the Arduino and the motor, and then 3.3 volt side is right here. This is the Solar Botics Arduini. Simple, easy to use Arduino clone, basically. Um, really compact, good for putting on circuit boards. Next we've got the buzzer and beside it is the transistor that controls it. And beside that we've got the push button um, so you can control the lock from your phone or from the website or from the button on the board and I'll demo that. Next we've got the ESP with its level shifting transistor beside it too because it needs 3.3 volts on its receive line and the Arduino is spitting out 5. Next, we've got the header for the um, sensor board, the output for the motor, and the L293 motor driver, which controls the motor. And let's actually, um, we'll reset the board so you can kind of see the boot up sequence here. So you can see a light's flashing on the ESP, that means it's kind of doing stuff. We should hear beep once it connects. So that took like less than 10 seconds to start from zero and connect up to the Wi-Fi network. So we'll go over to the website. We'll just reload the page. So door is currently unlocked. The sensor, or the ADC value, 125, is pretty low because we're currently over black. And let's hit unlock. Now this button, I don't actually, it doesn't actually update its status um, yet, but we'll work on that. So you heard that the motor just turned, and now you should hear beep soon. Perfect. That means the database has been updated. So we reload the page. 478, door is currently locked, and the time when that happened. So now we can hit unlock, and we'll just, I'll show you the motor is going to turn. Let's view it from that angle. Perfect. You'll see the website doesn't auto load when it updates, but I'm adding that. Let's wait for the beep. So the value's gone down. Door is currently unlocked. Again, the button doesn't update the thing in the middle, but that will change shortly. Now you can also control this from the button on the board itself. So that's kind of on the inside of the door. So let's try that out. And we'll hear a beep in a couple seconds. Boom, there we go. So yeah, every time you, um, once you do it and you hear beep, that means that the data has been sent uh, over to the web and has updated the database. You reload the page, it's pulling the latest entry from the database down. So let's hit the button again and it should um, unlock or lock, not sure where we're at. There we go, and over to the web beep and then we can reload. And there we go. So right now that's about all it can do. Um, just kind of unlock or lock from either the web or from the button on the board itself. 
um, and then the, the state gets stored in the database and then the website's pulling that down. Um, right now it, it manages to stay in sync pretty well. Um, you don't tend to have any cases where it rotates in the unlock direction twice or anything like that. Um, the only current problem is after sitting on the network for a while, not quite sure what happens, but I think the ESP disconnects or something. It shouldn't, um, but if you kind of leave the board sitting for a little more than 10 minutes, um, sometimes it disconnects and then you can't lock or unlock, so I'll have to fix that. And then, of course, we've got to work on the security aspect and um, getting the website to fully deal with things through Ajax. So the button should always um, show the correct title on it, so lock or unlock, based on where the lock is at. Um, but other than that, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Got any questions, hit me in the comments. I'll be posting the code fairly soon once it's a little more robust and a little less messy because it's kind of a mess right now. Anyway, thanks for watching and please remember to follow me on Twitter. Thanks!